What is up all my fellow citizens, or I should say future star citizens. Now this video is for all you newbies out there trying to figure out what's going on because I know it could be an overwhelming experience trying to first purchase your package and all the different ships. So I'm going to break it down in this video for you guys and hopefully it helps big time. Make sure you guys share to all the newbies if they need help because I know this video will definitely break it down for them. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to robertspaceindustries.com. So we're going to click on the Star Citizen tab. Now you can't click on Game. It's going to show you what this game is about and where the project is going. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on Enlist. And basically you're going to fill out all this information, you know, your, your basic stuff. But the only thing that's really not basic on here is the referral. Now I'm going to have a link in the description below that you could click. And you're going to get 5,000 UEC if you use that code. And what UEC is, is in-game currency. So you guys can buy like missiles or AI to help you pilot your ships if you have a bigger ship and all that other cool stuff. So after that, you're going to want to click on store and go to game packages. Now, there's going to be a lot of options on there. This is where stuff can get very confusing. You got ships from $45 all the way down to $15,000. Now, there's a lot of talk on the internet. People do not know what they're talking about, haven't done their research. Check this out. You guys can get in the game for $45, and that's it. And you can work for every ship that's on this page in game. Okay. So do not listen to crazy people who haven't done their research. Now, there's going to be two different options. You could buy a starter package, or you could pre order Squadron 42. Basically, right now, they're the same thing. But in 2016, they're going to be separate entities. So you're going to have Star Citizen, which is the persistent universe and basically like the MMO. Then you're going to have Squadron 42. Squadron 42 is going to be a campaign. I think it's like a 35 hour or 40 hour campaign. And it's going to be a game of itself. Right now, before 2016, you can get both these for $45 together. After that, they're going to be separate. So the package I'm going to go with is the Mustang Alpha Arena Commander Starter Package. I'm going to click on more info. And on the side, you're going to see a description of the ship. And we're going to go down, and the package contains Arena Commander Pass. Now, what's in there is the dogfighting module and the FPS module, which is going to be called Star Marine. And then they're going to add the Baby Persistent Universe, which is the alpha version of the Persistent Universe. Three-month insurance. Now, you're going to need insurance on your ships. Basically, that's self-explanatory. Uh, it gets blown up and you don't have insurance your ship is gone But you're gonna be reminded all the time when your insurance is about to run out So if you don't really pay it, it's really on your fault because it's gonna be really really hard uh, to miss paying your insurance Next is gonna be the star citizen digital download. You guys know what that is self land hangar Digital star citizen manual beta access starting money 1000 UEC which Earlier, remember I told you guys about the in-game currency. So if you use that referral code, you will have 6,000 starting UEC. Then Squadron 42, which is the campaign. Now, if you're still not sure about buying into Star Citizen, they do free fly weekends all the time. Like right now, if you click up here, you guys can see CitizenCon 2015. And the code is Sitcon Flight. 2k15 and that's good until october 25th now if you miss this one they do it all the time you got to keep on checking you could fly without spending money and seeing how it is for free before you pledge now even though this is a little more advanced i'm gonna show you guys anyways because i made this mistake early on so we're gonna click on ships then all ships you're gonna get a list a whole bunch of cool ships that you may want to buy but you go on there to click to add to cart it's not letting you buy the reason for that is they were a concept ship or it's a rare ship that barely gets sold or may not get sold at all. Something like the Vandal Scythe, they sold it once and you could never buy them again. So those are rare ships. I'm going to show you the most recent concept ship right now. And that is the Aegis Dynamics Sabre. This is going on, I think, until October 19th and it's in concept. So it's not in your hangar, not yet. It's going to come probably in a few months. But the benefit of buying a concept ship early on is you get lifetime insurance or LTI. Now, it's pretty self-explanatory. You get lifetime insurance on the ship as it is right now and on the whole. Now, if you upgrade your weapons in the verse, that's going to be a separate insurance fee. But the whole will still be covered. Now, LTI is not going to be a major thing. It's just a little convenient thing for you that you don't have to pay in game. You can put that money somewhere else where, maybe to your crew or maybe to some other weapons or whatever. It's not a mandatory thing. It's just 
a small convenience thing if you want and the dev said hundreds of times that insurance is not going to be that big of a thing it's just something that helps the economy out in the game now the last few things i want to touch on with the ships is one i'm going to make a more advanced tutorial guide for you guys on that later on and then two i'm going to make a ccu video for you guys which basically is um, cross chassis upgrade you would melt your ship and pay the remainder on a bigger ship if you guys wanted to but that's going to be later on and the last thing is do not worry about people that say oh it's pay to pay to win pay to win don't worry about that because i would ask them what exactly are you winning because in this game you could be a scientist you could be a medic you could be a mechanic um, you could be a farmer. I mean, so what exactly are you winning? I'm, I'm just scratching the surface. There's a lot more jobs in this game. So pick what ship fits you. And just keep in mind, the bigger the ship, the more money it costs to run. So if you want to explore and you got a 315P versus a Carrick, my question to you would be, are you playing by yourself or with a group of friends? Because if you're by yourself, a 315P will be just fine to go explore with. But if you have some friends, it will be cooler to have a Carrick. But you can have a character by yourself, but you're going to need NPCs to pilot it with you. And you got to pay the NPCs. That's the type of stuff that you got to keep in mind. That's what I mean by it's going to cost you more money with bigger ships. Even with your friends, you're still going to have to pay them. Or they may do it for free if you guys do something in exchange. I don't know how that's going to be. But just keep that kind of stuff in account. And the last thing I want to talk about in this long ass beginner's guide video is the monthly report. You can see where your money is going every month on here. It shows what kind of stuff's been getting worked on. Not only that, you go on the official Star Citizen YouTube page and they do three weekly shows. Also, they do the live streams on Twitch every Friday that you can watch. And there's plenty of information that you guys could do your own research on. Now, in closing, I want to say this. I've been keeping my eye on this project since, I want to say, October or November of 2013. And I didn't pledge until March 2014. I didn't even have a PC at the time. I was still on console. And I still bought into this game because what they were doing and what I was keeping up with, I had to support this game. They're really going above and beyond anything that these publishers and developers are doing today. And I couldn't help but back it. I'm still backing it to this day. And I've met some awesome friends because of this game I probably would have never met. And I think we have the best gaming community out there. Yes, we have our problems like everybody else. But we're still awesome and better than any of them, period, in my opinion. But be sure to check all the links in the description, and I hope you come join me and a million other Star Citizens in the verse. But I hope you guys have a blessed day in one mouth thing. Star Citizen for life.